right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. We are going to be working on our ombres in the easiest way possible. Now, I had demonstrated some like spins on this last week, and I thought, you know what, let's just do something a little bit like let's just take it down a little bit. Um, I know this is really big in the nail world right now. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, but I'm also going to show you how to do this. So we may actually just start with this one because it's so important to just get a really beautiful blend. And that's what we're going to be doing here today. Plus we have some discount codes. Plus we have, um, I don't know, just some exciting things to talk about today. So, um, so first off for those of you that have joined us on Facebook, Thank you so much for those of you that have joined us on Zoom. Thank you there as well. So I want to talk to you for a couple seconds about um, a really cool product that I'm sure you guys have seen this uh, over and over and over again. But uh, this is something that I think every nail tech needs. <laughs> now mine's kind of beat up. Um, but this is if you're getting ready to do artwork of any kind, you know, you're going to go in and out of your lamp crazy. So this is actually what they call like a chess tin. So it's a tin and it looks like little chess pieces, right? Um, it comes with all of these little guys like this and they are all magnetic. So you can put it right on here and you can actually just take this and slide it right into your lamp. Or it has these, this little guy, if you want to like make it a little bit more of a display. So you have it like that. Um, a lot of people will use um, like tack, like poster tack to put this up. And then others like myself will use double-sided mounting tape. Now I know that this maybe feels a little bit, um, I don't know, maybe simple, but if you aren't shown things like this, like how do you get to be this amazing artist, right? These are like tricks of the trade. So this chest tin is something everybody needs. And this is mounting tape. Okay, so I have it in a plastic bag because it's so sticky. <laughs> but I will just show you. Um, I actually use mounting tape all of the time. I just have my little scissors and it is something that you can use over and over and over again. Okay, so we're going to grab this just cut it right here. There we go. And I'll wrap this up and get it out of the way for you guys so you don't have to see that. So, okay, so we just have this little piece here. This is plenty big enough for me just to cut it in half like that. And this is what we can put on our little, our little chest piece. So get that all nice. And then I'll grab another one here, put that on our chest piece. I know this maybe feels like I said, kind of elementary, but is so good because if someone didn't show you how to do this, you'd be like, uh, so what do I use? Okay. So then you take off this little red here and now we can apply our tips. Now this can be used over and over and over again. You don't actually have to change it for quite some time. So that's really great. So here is, a tip. All right. There we go. So there's the first one. And then we'll grab our second one. So you can see, like, how great is it that we can use those to do our little artwork. And you can see then you can just slide this in and out. So I will get this one peeled and ready to go. Now, for those of you that are on Facebook with me, Facebook Live. If you could do me a huge favor, first off, say hey. <laughs> you can wave, you can smile, you can send me like thumbs up, whatever it is. And then would you do me a huge favor and press share and share that video um, to your Facebook? That helps us because this is education that we are, we're giving this education away. Um, and it's very valuable. We don't want it to lose its value. So if you could do that, that would be fantastic. Okay, so now here's the next thing. So now you guys know about the chest 10, move that out of the way. Okay, so this is the one we're gonna start with today. 
okay, this beautiful ombre nail. I know you have seen this over and over and over again. So let's look at how easy it is to do it. So we're going to start with um, a color here. Okay, this is a gel color. Now I don't, excuse me, I don't know if uh, you have ever used a gel color in a pot, but they are fantastic. This is from Spa One. I have several of them. We're gonna be using a couple different ones today. And I'm gonna show you several different ways to use these through the next several weeks, okay? So when you first get something like this, it may have a little seal on the top. And you can see I have already stirred this very good, but I would like for you to see, I have a little spatula here. The uh, pigments are absolutely beautiful. Well, hello, Ms. Holly. So happy to see you here, yay. So this is color gel. You can use this. Uh, it is a gel polish. It is soakable. It is removable. So it's not a hard gel, which is wonderful. This means that you can use this like a gel polish. Now, what are the benefits of having it in a pot as opposed to in a bottle? Well, for one, you know that you can use a spatula to make it nice and mixed, okay? That is number one, excellent. Number two is that you know you will get all the way to the very, very bottom of your pot um, and you're not having to tip your bottles. I don't know if you have ever been like that. I have where you're tipping your bottle, tipping your bottle, tipping your bottle. Um, and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm out of gel polish. And you had no idea this way, you know, and it's super accessible and you know, you'll have that gel color all the way through. So we're going to use this. Now, if you had a client you were working on, of course, you would start with your base coat, um, but we're just going to do our color coat. So I have just a regular uh, gel brush and we are going to brush this on. And this does take several, it'll take like two coats probably just because we have the clear nail. If we had a non-clear nail, we have like a neutral color nail, that would be easy for you. So you can see how beautiful that just kind of brushes right on there. I love this color because it is that gentle nude. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so we have our chest tin, drop it right on there. And now you can slide it right in your lamp. How cool is that? Now for people who have been working on um, maybe like press on nails. I don't know if you guys have been doing press on nails or if that's something you're interested in, but you can set out like all 10 nails at the same time and then you can work on them all together. So that works out really wonderful. All right, so the 60 second cure, this is a UV or LED cure. So if it's in a UV light, it's two minutes. If it's LED, which most nail lamps these days are LED and they um, that's a 60 second cure. So be nice and easy. What do you guys think of my background? Isn't it pretty? I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> I was like, hey, look at how official. Sculpting for success on Wednesdays <laughs> with Mirage Spa Education. All right, so grab this and we will do another coat of our gel polish. I do like having a gel polish in a pot. This is not a new concept. I mean, this is, I would say Mirage is probably the first one that I knew that had gel polish in a pot and it has kind of taken off. There's a lot of uh, other companies out there that are doing it, but Mirage is the first, so that one is the first. So I kind of like that. And this is very, very high quality. So if you have a client who has beautiful natural nails and they're like, oh, I just want gel polish, you know that this is going to give them just a little bit of strength but flexibility, you know, that's when our nails break is if we're not, if they're not flexible, that's when they break. So there's a little bit back here. I'm gonna just fill this up just a little. All 
All right, here we go. Something else I appreciate about this, and I'm like kind of going on about it, but um, sometimes when you have a gel polish in a bottle, they are actually, um, it's like they're part lacquer, part gel. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this settle for just a second, kind of, I'll use a little bit of gravity here. Okay, so um, what I was gonna say is sometimes gel polish in a bottle is, is partial lacquer, and so that's where if you do something that's too thick or if you don't shake it well enough, you end up with uh, bubbles or wrinkles. And um, so I feel like this has a little bit more workability. Okay, so we can put it back on our little lid and we'll put it in our lamp for 60 more seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and put this away because we don't need this anymore. But I do want you guys to remember this. This is soft touch. This is number 63 because it is an excellent nude, like nude pink color. Um, and we are going to tell you about some specials we're having on our pots of gel color after class is over today. Okay. All right. So this, I'm actually just going to wipe it off. Uh, when you first get a gel brush, you should always have it full of clear gel. So there should be no need for that gel. It's not stuck in the bristles. So I was just able to wipe it right off, okay? Now, this is the next cool thing that we're doing to reach that ombre. Now, have you heard of DAB? Okay, DAB is a pigment that is super, super thick. And you can use it with makeup sponges, different applicators. Um, I will show you, let me open it here. See, like, <laughs> like paste, okay? Super, super thick. Now you could use this to paint. You could do all kinds of things with it, or we're gonna use it as an ombre tool, okay? Uh, this is just, it's just a special tool that I have. I will show you guys. It's basically just like a makeup sponge that's kind of rounded and just pops right in here, okay? Um, our other design, we have the orange here, so I'm just gonna keep that one on here, but this is white. Uh, you can also do it with this, something like this, which is just a makeup applicator, but you have to make sure it's that silicone. If it's like sponge, it won't really do very well. Um, so this would also work or if you have this, like makeup sponges, you can do this too. The thing I would make you aware of with the sponges is you wanna make sure that they're rounded out. So if you use something like this, just grab your scissors and kind of round it out so you don't end up with like these harsh edges as you're blending. So that is actually why I like this little round tool. Now, is this little round tool reusable? It sure can be, as long as you get this nice and clean. Um, I have used alcohol to get it nice and clean. Um, and then it kind of swells up a little bit, then just let it dry and it shrinks right back down. I don't know that I would use orange and then turn around and go to white, but you could easily do orange, clean it really well, and then go to like red or something like that, okay? All right, so. This is how we use this. Now, if you don't have a tile, this is just a tile. You could use uh, like a plastic lid, like a, a to-go container lid, do that. But you take it and you dip. See how thick that is, isn't that cool? And we're actually gonna pop it on our tile and we're gonna sponge it out. Does it make you feel like you're painting something like in the 80s and the 90s, like sponging your walls, <laughs> okay? Now the idea is to get it nice and blended and thin. Okay, so we're actually gonna start down here and we're gonna blend and just do our little sponging. Now, as I start getting closer to that center, I'm actually gonna get some, get rid of some of that, that paint there. And we're gonna be able to go lighter towards that center piece. Now, tell me that this is not like the easiest ombre you've ever seen in your life. Because how many times like we've sat there and we've done all kinds of things with all the different um, 
you know, different brushes and, and all those kinds of things. And it can just get so overwhelming and a little bit frustrating. And here it's not this way. So I actually take a, a makeup sponge. That one has a little piece of glitter. What? Glitter in a nail room? No way. Okay. <laughs> so it has a little bit of glitter. Um, but I just, it's a brand new sponge and you can actually take it and just blend it right across that centerpiece. And it just makes it just a little bit lighter, not such a harsh, harsh dividing line. Okay. Right now we're just going to cure this for just like 30 seconds because we're going to come right back in and we're going to do another layer. Okay. So we'll throw this in here, throw it in our light, do a little 30 second cure. You see how easy that is? Like that's pretty cool, right? And then we will do another little layer. You know what I did, you guys? This is really funny. The faux pas of behind the scenes, right? <laughs> so this orange on the other end, like I got it underneath. <laughs> it's on my, it's on my little stand. I guess I'm gonna have to clean that off. That's funny. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I always love the outtakes. Okay, so here we are again. We're just gonna use what we have on our palette. We're just gonna reload our brush, our little sponge. We're gonna come down from the bottom because really that's where you want it to be. The widest is right there, right? So add a little more. And if you have where you kind of like it, put this out of the way, we can grab our other little sponge, our blank makeup sponge, and we can use it just to blend. Now in our next nail, um, where we actually take this up just a little notch, I'm gonna show you how to use just a makeup sponge, okay? Looks pretty good. Looks like, you know, of course, I'm gonna get that little piece of glitter Hold on a second, let me get that out of there, that little fuzz. Yeah. And fix it. So how easy is that? You know how many times we've like struggled and struggled and struggled with our ombres or maybe we were trying to perfect them in our gel or maybe we're trying to perfect them in our acrylic and it just gets super frustrating. Well, here you can just do a solid color and move on with it, right? A solid color nail, and then you can do your, your little ombre on the outside. Um, so let's go ahead and cure that. We'll do a full 60 seconds this time because I think it looks really good. And we're gonna use our white again. I'm just gonna slide it over to the side. Now, the next little thing I wanna show you. So this is soft gold, it's just a glisten. Um, this is something as I was doing this nail, I thought, oh, that's kind of pretty where it gives you just a little bit extra, just a little bit of that sparkle. Um, and it softens that ombre look just a little bit. So here you can see it. It's not pretty, just a nice little soft sparkle. So once again, this is one of those gel, gel colors in a And you can see that beautiful color it has just that little bit of shimmer. It's not a lot, it's like just enough. This is actually one of my very favorites to use underneath artwork. Let's say you're gonna do something pretty extravagant, maybe some something wintry. That'd be really pretty in your background. All right, so let's grab our little guy here. And I'm actually just going to use the exact same brush. And we'll go ahead and take a dollop. Now it looks white, but it really is rather translucent once you get it on the nail. Um, it adds just a little bit of that softening. Just a little. Maybe get a little more. Then you can see how nice that looks. You can see the coverage. And you have just a little bit of that glisten. I would wear all 10 nails like this. 
This is a, this is a big, big style right now. So I'm really glad that I can share it with you. All right. Nice and clean. Just kind of brush over it. I probably overbrush, but I use my light line. I don't know if you know what that is, but when you are doing nails, you can see the reflection. For example, right here is the reflection. If you start seeing a lot of lumps and bumps, it means, or breaks in your light line, it means that we need to do either a little bit more filing or maybe our gel is a little bit too uh, lumpy, or maybe we have a little speck of something. And that is something that we definitely want to look for. Yeah, that looks so nice. Okay, let's go ahead and cure that. Once again, 60 second cure. And we can put this away. So this is also one of those gel polish in a pot. This is soft gold glisten number two. Okay. So there's two that we've shown you today. Just a couple of them. And you know, it's fall, things are getting really excited, exciting for fall. Um, I want to actually do some next week. I would like to do some plaids, uh, kind of some fall designs. It's just going to be, we're getting to the art season. Everybody wants art right now. And that's super exciting. So for our top coat, we are going to use this our accents shine on. It is a fantastic top coat. Um, it does not crack. So if you're using this on a client on their natural nails, um, it's not going to crack. It still has that flexibility. All right. So here's our nail, our ombre, and we'll top coat. And this is a no wipe, which is great. Get where I'm gonna have to get some more. Get in time. And you know, with those gel pot, uh, gel colors in the pot, you can actually use those for nail art. So let's say you wanted to paint something, you can use them. They're very pigmented. So I'm sure that's something that we will be working on as time goes on. All right, so there's our top coat. Let's go ahead and cure it and we will be set to go. Okay, so while this is curing, for those of you that um, are just joining us now, or maybe you've joined us before, but you have not yet done this, there is a free ebook that you need to go and get. And it is at, um, it's Miss Cheryl dot com. That is a website where you can get this free ebook. It's a short read. It's like 11 pages, not very long. And it is from setback to success. So you know how, you know, people have been dealing with a lot during the pandemic. It's been very stressful. And um, it's like, we keep thinking things are starting to get back to normal. And then we all get like, lambasted again with another virus or whatever it is. So get your free ebook, super important. So um, while this is curing, like take a second, definitely go to misscheryl.com and get yourself that ebook. All right, see that was about perfect, right? Okay, here is our pretty ombre nail. Very, very easy and it looks very nice. Okay, so here's our two we had done. Just a nice look. So I'll move those out of the way. And now we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to do this one. Okay, so where we had done the ombre, where it was um, like up and down, now we're gonna do it side to side. So we were doing, you know, horizontal and now we're gonna be doing vertical. So let me grab our tip. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to paint the tip white. The whole thing needs to be white. So I like accents white on something that I'm using here. Don't look too close. My bottle's pretty beat up. <laughs> okay. So we'll get that nice and white. 
And really, we only need one coat of this. It is, it is pigmented enough. We don't have to worry about it. But it gives us a nice base. If you're working on nails that were a nude color, uh, you would definitely want to have your white base. So that's where we're going to start. See a little fuzz. So there is, so I live in Florida. Um, there is actually a storm that's kind of like churning in the Atlantic right now. And um, we're supposed to like keep an eye on it. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Maybe just be like a tropical depression. Just means lots of rain. Uh, but my yard looks really pretty. <laughs> right, there is that fuzz again, hold on. It's like the singular fuzz, but at least we watch for that. The details are super important. Okay, sorry as I smoothed all that out. Just didn't want that fuzz on there anywhere. And then you don't want these weird lines. So from tip to toe, all the way. There we go, that's better. I was just not having it with that silly fuzz. Okay, so then put it on our little chest lid and throw it in there. Um, you know, these little magnets on the bottom of these. So a lot of the uh, bottoms of our nail lamps are metal anyways. So being able to just like throw that on there, that works really good too. Okay, so we're going to do dab again, but this time we're going to use the orange dab, okay? So we'll use our orange. We still have our palette. We use the orange end. You'll see once again, like super pigmented. Grab this. All right. And it's like you get it adequately loaded, but you don't want it so thick that you um, have this huge defining line. So kind of go out a little bit that way like blend it out this way. Okay, so we're gonna do the right side all in that orange. And I always start on the very, very outside because that's gonna be the thickest point, like the, the most, hold on a second, I see the fuzz on my dabber, got it. <laughs> okay, that is where we are, it's going to get layered over and over and over again. So, and that's fine, that's where you want it the thickest. You know how many times you could sit there and try and blend and blend and blend and blend and it is just so difficult and now it's just been done for you. But not everybody has this little blendy tool so I will show you how to do it with just a makeup, little makeup sponge, okay? All right, so that looks pretty good, um, but we want it not so defined because that's definitely a very defined line. So let's go ahead and grab our little makeup sponge, okay? And we'll just go right in the middle. We're gonna kind of blend that out here. And you see how I'm just using that edge a little bit? Go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So now we have where you can see it's a little bit darker here. We'll just kind of touch that a little bit. All right, that's a really nice blend. Let's go ahead and cure that. So we'll cure that for, you know, between 30 and 60 seconds. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Now, this is, if you have one of these and you wanna use it to do your blending, because it gets that really sharp edge, you kind of just wanna cut it and make it a little bit smoother. So just grab my little scissors and make this a little smoother here. Kind of give my little makeup brush a haircut. Just don't want those harsh lines, right? There. 
there. See how that is? So it's a little bit more like this. Now, if you have this, absolutely, by all means, use this. But if not, and this is what you have, then use this. My goal is to always help you just see what you have in your supply house that you can utilize to do cool nail art at home, right? Or in your salon. So we're gonna go ahead and grab more of our orange. And we're gonna dab more. You can see where we keep layering it, layering it, layering it on that outside edge. And if you feel like you need more, we can get more. I'll grab my little container. Just make sure that you don't go where it's so loaded and just start blotting right away. You really want to get it blotted out on your palette uh, because it's so hard to take it away. You can always add more, but it's really next to impossible to get it taken away. Okay. So always on that outside edge first. I definitely feel like dab is something that's a little bit like underrated um, because it is such, it's such a good product specifically for this, but you can use it if you want to get like that airbrush effect. So that's kind of cool too. All right. So that looks good. I think we, I think we've blended it nicely. Grab our little edge here. Come through here. Just soften that look a little bit. Yeah, looks pretty good. What do you think? Good, 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 good. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and cure that. And then we are going to now do a matte top coat. Now, the reason for matte is because we're getting ready to do the free edge where you do that, um, that nice French. Okay, but we want it opposite this blend. So we're gonna put matte on it because then as we do our blend, we can actually come through with a brush and clean it up really good, okay? So that's what we're doing next. Oh, so for those of you that are on, um, on Facebook with us, there is now a link that has been put um, in the chat so you can click on that. Um, and for those of you on Zoom, we will get that typed into the chat as well. So give me just a second here. And it is um, that free ebook from Setback to Success. So. Okay, so now that this has been cured, we'll go ahead and take our mat. So that was something else that was mentioned in our chat was to uh, make sure that you, if you have not already, which some of you already have, and I'm hoping that that's where you learned about our live today. Um, but if you are not part of the members only page um, on our Mirage Spa education page on Facebook, please go in and uh, join that members only group. I will go in after our live today and make sure that I approve all of that. Um, there will be things that you get uh, as members only. So that'll be great. Okay, so here we go. Here is our top coat. Let's go ahead and put it in our lamp for 60 seconds. That's just magic matte. That is another fantastic product. And all of these things, are things that you can get from um, the nail tech store. So that's in Canada, everybody. That's nailtechstore.ca. And um, so the dab, which we've been showing you, and all of our accents, you know, white on and shine on, all of these things you can get from the nailtechstore.ca. So definitely, um, if you want any of those things, you can check out their website or actually because we have some discounts, some special things we want to give you today, um, we're gonna have you send us an email, okay? If there's some things that you want, shoot us an email at warehouse at miragespaeducation.ca and that will, you can tell us what it is you want 
and we can get it for you. Um, so here we are with this. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Okay, so here we are with this. Now we're gonna take our white on and we need to go in the opposite direction. So we're gonna go right here. This is like our little smile line. So we'll go opposite. We're just gonna use that as our little base here. Okay. Now we cannot cure this until we get it exactly where we want it. So this is where we have dab that is not only orange, but we also have it in white. So obviously we used white earlier. So I'm going to grab our orange and our white both. And don't mix the two up. Oh my goodness, did you just see that? Phoenix might be needing a nap, right? <laughs> So we loaded up our sponge and we're gonna go in the opposite direction, right through here. You can see where we're kind of touching in where that, that other white on is at. And then we can grab our sponge, flip it over, grab our white, make sure we load it. Nice and loaded and sponge it here. Now we're having our dab white and dab orange both. Has that really pretty blend in the middle, but now we have like this mess here. So this is where you can take a brush. So this is just the same brush that I had been using. Like that's pretty cool, right? Um, and we're going to use just a little bit of alcohol. That's why we did the mat. A warehouse at nailtechstore.ca. I am so sorry. I'm so glad that that was clarified for me. I apologize. So I just put a little bit of alcohol on here and we're gonna go ahead and slide it that way. See that? Get that nice little smooth edge. Wipe off the orange. Smooth edge again. Wipe off the orange. And then we'll wipe off our white. Oh. And we can really, I prefer like a deep smile line. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this down a little farther. There we go, I'm gonna clean it up that way. And for those of you that are just, they wanna do like a full beautiful French, just like a solid French. Oh, I don't know what happened to my little guy up here. Um, a solid French, you actually can do it with your dab and then come in with your little brush and just clean everything up. Little more, little more, nice and clean. So I don't know what happened on my little, my little uh, Zoom page, but my Zoom page froze. It might come back, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so then uh, just cleaning it up. You don't wanna flood it either. So don't have so much alcohol on your brush that you end up kind of like smoothing it out and removing everything, right? All right, here we go. It's nice and tidy. And if you want to add more, you certainly can, but you definitely want to get this line set up before you uh, put it in the lamp. Okay, so let me grab my little guy, my little sponge again. This is where you can reload your white. and then reload our orange. Come back through here, nice and easy. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure it. So let's go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds and then we can come back through and do another layer if we want, see how that works, okay?
So I will put this away. So here goes my white, put that away. Here's my orange. Hmm. All right, there we go, got it all back. I was like, hmm, I wonder what happened to my Zoom. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. All right, get that all cleaned up. All right. It's such a good day. It's the middle of the week. Are you guys all doing well? Your middle of the week? Now tell me, for those of you that are watching, is this something that you will use? in your salon work, because I really feel like this is something that could be used a lot. I think it's something that would be very beneficial to have your products all ready to go. All right, so here is just a little bit more. We'll just add a little bit more of that white, and then we can add a little bit more of that orange, just to get a nice, nice, uh, nice bright blend. And then if uh, you want to make it nice and blended in the middle, this is where you can grab that makeup sponge again, right? And you can go up and down right here in the middle. And we're just going back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, looks pretty nice, guys. And then if we need to clean it up or tidy it up, we certainly can with our little brush. Looking pretty slick. Saw this little spot here. Just wanted to make it a little better. Is that crazy? We just do that to ourselves, don't we? Make ourselves a little nuts. Could be like, no, it's not quite blended enough. Well, it looks pretty blended, guys. <laughs> looks pretty good. Just tell me to settle down. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and cure this. I think that's excellent. So we'll go ahead and cure this one. We'll do our 60 second. Now that that is all done and we have our little palette, once again, just some alcohol takes our palette and we'll wipe it right off. Kind of air drive a little. Uh, so something else that dab can be used for, dab is fantastic for stamping. So if you are a stamper or you want to become a stamper, uh, you can use it for stamping. It's a pretty, pretty great product for stamping as well. Cleaning up all my little messes. Make sure everything is taken care of. Okay, so make sure that you go on to Mirage Spot Up or Mirage Scott Education um, on Facebook and join our private group. Okay, remember that. This is like your check marks for the day. Do that. Go to misscheryl.ca and make sure that you download your free ebook. Okay, that's like number two. And then also let's make sure that if you want any products, which this is kind of a clencher. So these right now, these pots that are so wonderful are buy one, get one free. But the only way that you can get that is if you go to warehouse at nailtechstore.ca. Okay. That's the only way that you get that buy one, get one free special um, is to do that uh, through the email. And it's not like for today only. I mean, if you guys are watching this video tomorrow or, you know, please, if you want that product, we want to get it in your hands. We want you to use it. Now this is that gold glisten again, because I just think it's so soft and it looks so pretty over our ombres. Go ahead and grab a couple little dollops of that. Go up and down our ombre. If you have white chrome or anything like that, like a chrome that you can see through, that would be really beautiful on this as well. 
And if you have not gotten a chance, so now that we've kind of, you know, took this down a little bit, you can actually go back to last week's video where our live that we shared was um, all about how to use this style of ombre, but to do really cool geometric designs. So now you can watch it and you'll be like, oh, I totally know how to do that now, right? So go ahead and cure that. Well, hello, Ms. Chrissy. I'm so glad to see you here. I just love it when you guys join us for our lives. It makes me so happy. Okay, so remember, buy one, get one free on our gel pots, uh, gel colors. It is UV and LED both, and it is gel polish. So there's a lot of benefits to using them in a pot as opposed to a bottle. And then also you can order your dab. That all is on uh, the website as well, or you can send that in your email warehouse at um, nailtechstore.ca, okay? Um, I'm gonna be doing a couple fun things like next week. I have some khaki and I have some reds. I just, I feel like fall is in the air and it is time for us to start having some fall nails. What do you guys think, right? So we'll grab this now that we've done our little gold glisten coat and we will top coat it with our shine on. Now you could use matte, you could use shiny, you could use whatever, but I just think this will look very nice with our shiny finish. So we'll grab this. Oh, here's something else. I was like, I know there's one more thing I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, so you know we have all these videos. We do these lives um, every week and we're doing our sculpting for success on Wednesdays, which is fantastic. If you have missed them, they are actually on our YouTube channel. Do you know we have a YouTube channel? So that is Mirage Spot Education on YouTube. Please subscribe. Uh, you can go in there and subscribe for that and you'll get all of these videos. They're right there at your disposal. And then you will see them, you know, week after week after week. So I'll go ahead and cure this. 60 seconds. Once again, we're using that shine on. You guys like that one? Okay. Got that. All right. And let me show you. So some of that, that fun nail art that we did last week. Here's an example. Okay. Um, exactly like what I just did. But you can see the dab actually blends so much better than gel polish because I was using gel polish to do this. Well, the dab blends so much better. So, um, but you see how it's in different, uh, like different ribbons. So now you know how to do that. So if you can do it this way, you know, you can do it this way. So that's pretty cool, right? Yay. <laughs> um, but if you didn't get a chance to watch it, you can definitely watch this one. Um, on, we have it on our Facebook live from last week. So, and then we'll be uploading, of course, this video, if you are just coming in late. Okay, so here is our two ombre nails that we did like that. And then here's our two perfect ombre nails that we did for like that French ombre. And once again, this cool nail art tin. That's what this is. And we also have these in stock. So you can get these also from the warehouse. So um, that's what I was saying. Like we want to tell you guys about some of the stuff that we have and you know, we can get it to you pretty quickly that way. So, so subscribe to all the things guys, make sure you're part of the members group. We really want that. And then um, if you want the buy one, get one, anything that is spa one, all of these are buy one, get one. Okay. So uh, definitely send an email. So that is all for me today, everybody. I hope that it was a wonderful class. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you want to do this um, nail art, you can do this nail art and then you can post it in our members page. And I would love to see your artwork.
work. Okay. It gives us a chance to like, um, help each other and, and encourage each other and see some of the great stuff that we can do. Okay. So I thank you very, very much for joining and I hope you have a fabulous rest of the week and we will see you next week for Sculpting for Success. Bye everyone.